Braith once famously said that conventional wisdom is almost always wrong. Now, the conventional wisdom today is that the U.S. economy is very strong. I think your view is that might not be accurate. Is that correct? You don't think it's that strong? Well, I think it's a different form of what we call stagflation. It has some of the characteristics of buoyancy, but underneath it is an erosion which ultimately will disable the economy unless it's corrected. Do you see any movement to solve, let's say, the deficit and debt problem? I see a lot of talk, uh, but uh, no realistic movement. I mean, right now we are creating a deficit of a trillion dollars a year and uh, that is being added net to the stock of debt. And debt as a percent of GDP is rising very rapidly and the demographics of the age groups are such is that that's going to accelerate in the immediate future. So if you could wave a magic wand and help reduce this deficit and debt, what would you do? Well, the question is, what's the cause of it? And the cause of it is essentially on both the expenditure and on the tax side. Uh, I actually fully approve of the tax cuts that were made, but only in the context that it is funded. In other words, we went to a very significant cut in the marginal corporate tax rate, but you can't have a tax cut without finding the revenues elsewhere okay. or you run into problems. So the new tax cut bill that was passed in the first year of President Trump's administration by the Congress said in effect that we'll produce 3% or more growth for the foreseeable future. Do you think 3% annualized growth is realistic over the next 5 or 10 years? No, certainly not as a consequence of the tax cut. The tax cut actually did get a buoyancy and we're still feeling some of it but it's nowhere near enough to s offset the actual deficit. So there's no way around this without coming to grips okay. with the expenditure side. Harry Truman, when he was listening to his economic advisors, said, you know, please bring me a one-handed economist because they always said, well, on the one hand this, and the other hand this, and he got tired of that. So um, let me ask you a direct question. Uh, can you tell me when the next recession is going to happen? Sometime. 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 But we've had recessions every seven years on average since World War II. It's going to be driven by the fact that debt is rising dramatically. And there's going to be some curtailments occurring from that, and it's going to feed on itself. What I'm saying, we talk about stagflation. Stagflation is something that happened in the 1980s, when you had a situation where both unemployment and inflation were high, uh, something which the original Keynesian model said was okay. not possible. And we're going into that type of period now if you look at all the guidelines.